Yo, everybody, welcome to another successful episode. I haven't, we haven't even recorded it yet, but no. I'm already calling it a success. It's, it's best another episode s- yet. Best episode yet of Creepy Old Crypt. It's a new year, so if you don't know what it is, we take like we tell stories basically of like old like Disney Disneyland yeah, stuff. Our experiences at Disneyland. Be, yeah, being here, you know, either when we were younger or maybe just a few years ago. But yeah. there's always like there's always like weird stories and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if they're that weird, but th- but there yeah, are stories. Some of them they are have been weird. they have been dusted off, yeah. you know, as such. But anyway. So we're here for another year. We kind of we meant to do this episode actually before we broke for Christmas. Yeah. And it never happened. No. It just never the holidays got the best of us. And then I got sick and like a whole bunch of other boring stuff happened, but we're back. Yeah. We in did a new it. place. We're actually starting a yes. new episode of the year in a place that wasn't open. For yeah, a this place was never yeah. existed before. We're at the uh, tropical hideaway. Mm-hmm. We're at the Tropical Hideaway, uh, off to the side of the t- Tiki Room, yep. which was never open before. Right this was the always tiki room, the tiki room of the Jungle Cruise. Back in the like '60s, there was a restaurant here, and then they closed it forever. Mm-hmm. They uh, they put an Aladdin thing here that they never used, no. and now it's back to being a restaurant after all this time. So that's where we are. Uh, you know what's interesting what? about the Tropical Hideaway is uh, the. The logo that's on the sign when you come in, there's a logo on the sign. Yeah. That was designed by a Rooster Teeth guy. Really? No joke. Oh. Uh, one of the guys who designs lots of stuff for Rooster Teeth mm-hmm. submitted a bunch of designs uh, for shirts to Disney mm-hmm. because they were doing all these limited things at, at D23 and yeah. online and all that stuff. And one of them, there's an old shirt that says Tropical Hideaway, and he did that design. Oh, and they reused and when it. They, yeah, when they, when they opened this place, they just randomly reuse that old logo that's cool that's like now he's part of like disney history yeah i don't like that no i mean good you're good guy <laughs> but i want mega 64 history yeah rooster Most teeth you, you've had enough parks. you know I, I gotta be real where's let's get some mega 64 stuff in here where yeah. would they put it the gift in shop? pirates no in pirates <laughs> where all the treasure is they should put our blu-ray box set yeah right there right at the top of the treasure, treasure. like yeah, put our uh, put a Mega sixty four box set there. Mm-hmm. I think that that'd be totally appropriate. It would make it better, honestly. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll talk to them about it anyway. Kind of what we're talking about today is uh, special events. Uh, yeah. The, the, a lot of times, you know, with the, with the park being here, Disneyland, as long as it's been around, they have all kinds of like special events and An- stuff. Annual pass holder like only events. Yeah, yeah, stuff that you like, exclusive things only. You know, pass holders can get into or yeah. or whatever. But then some that weren't, some that weren't like you know, they did like the twenty four hour that Disney was days the public, where they, yeah. yeah, where that was open to the public oh. and you could be, you could actually, they kept the park open twenty four full hours. Yeah. Uh, so we'll talk about that too. But um, something that's kind of gone by the wayside are, like we said, these events that are, uh, uh, yeah, for annual pass holders. Mm-hmm. We have annual passes. Yeah. Do they? Do they? They all look the same, right? I think so. Oh, I can't get mine. Mine. mine oh, yours is in, mine's your wallet, in my wallet, but they which look is like under this. the camera. They basically. They I all think look they like all that. have the same thing on see, it. See, you know, I remember. In, but now, see, my name is written differently, like on the back of yours. Mine's yeah. in a different font. Really? What's up with that? I don't know. Anyway. But uh, I remember back in the day, I feel like everyone's past looked different. Like, oh, you got this one? Well, I got this one. Yeah. And Universal's wish... still like that. It's random what yeah, you think. Yeah, right? Like. Everybody yeah. else is the same, though. Was it you that asked for a different one? Yes. Uh, what was I, that all about? I got. I just recently got a Universal Studios annual pass, yeah. and they handed it to me, and it had minions all over it. And <laughs> I'm like, I don't... Is there any way to get another one? It's like, it's random, but yeah, we can... Adjust, like pull through one yeah. until it hits one you want, and then yeah. we'll put it onto that one. So I got the uh, uh, tram ride because I feel like that's yeah, that's, that's good. That's definitive, qu- definitive Universal Studio. Absolutely, yeah, good choice. Well, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yes, yeah. so, but anyway, the thing that's kind of gone by the wayside are the are the events that they would do special for yeah. annual pass holders. Mm-hmm. They would get something in the mail. They basically yeah. like, hey, uh, come to this event, yeah, yeah, and sign up for it. It's free event. Yeah, They're all good. Now, uh, this is before my time, mm-hmm. but the, the pass holder events they used to do in like the mid-90s, did you ever hear about those? No. I, I 
Are they, were they bad or are they? No. Oh, were they just quite the out? opposite? Oh, really? Because there used to only be like back when they started annual passes, there were only like a couple hundred annual passes. Yeah, when I was a kid, I thought you had to be like loaded to have yeah. an annual pass. To, to me, Disneyland was just like mind-blowing place that only went yeah. for a few years and stuff. Yeah. It's like, there are people who can go any time. Yeah, and I was absolutely. like, well, those have to be the richest people on the planet Earth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Well, uh, so that's kind of how it used to be that, yeah, there really just weren't that many. Yeah. And so when they would do annual pass parties, they would say, come on this night and you get to go through the park after it's closed, whatever. Yeah. Dude, they would, like, Imagineers would take these groups through, like, closed stuff. Like, oh. like there was one night, and you can look this up, yeah. go look it up, where they, they, Country Bears was all off. And they just let annual pass holders come in and, like, get on the set, check out all the bears, and, like, oh go, behind, go behind the stage and all that stuff. Like, they did stuff like that. It, it, it's unbelievable. You should go look up those old parties. Really? I need to, I need to look at this. Unreal. Anyway, uh, that was before our time. Mm-hmm. But uh, once we kind of got annual passes, kind of became a thing. I felt like kind of in like the mid two thousands was when it was Started it was actually like more and more. Yeah, because it was like, look, Disneyland's kind of getting a little a little pricey. But if you only go a couple times, it, an annual pass pays for itself. It used to be, yeah. If you go like twice or three times, yeah, it's more than just getting annual pass for the whole year. Yeah, like it used to be that way. Yeah. So. Um, uh, yeah, so that's when there was a lot more incentive to do it. Mm. But na- uh, but yeah, they would do these after hours events to kind of like lure people in. Yeah, be kinda, like make um, it make it more appealing. They would, they would time it. I remember they would time it to when you're about to renew. Yeah. And I think they just kind of wanted you to go in and go look like yeah, look like I don't want to turn this out. Yeah. yeah, and then and then you'd renew because I remember they had different time period. Like everybody would get different ones, and you weren't invited to all of them. Yeah, like. You, yeah, you'd yeah. You'd be invited to certain ones based on when your pass was totally. Running. Yeah, it depended on when when it expired. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that was more kind of the time that we would that we started going to them. Yeah. Um, the one that I remember the most. So they, again, they would be after hours. So, mm-hmm. and what was cool about them, I remember going to one that was during Christmas. I remember my family got invited. Yeah. I didn't even get an invite. My family did. Yeah. I went with them because I was just like, yeah, I don't want to miss out on that. So I went with them because you, you could bring a plus one or whatever. Yeah. So I went, and it was a Christmas-themed one, and I remember the line to get in after hours was like, oh, my God, there must be, like, a 1,000 people in front yeah. of us. And it seemed bad, but then once you get into the park, a 1,000 people is this nothing. whole park is, like, nothing, yeah. So once we got into the park, it was like, oh, my gosh, there's no one on anything. Like, people are, the rides are just sitting empty. Mm. Like, people waiting for people to come It was amazing, on. yeah. So that was fan. That was really fantastic, and uh, the only long line there was the whole night was uh, they only had one food place open. They had the bread bowl place open, yeah. and that was it. And it was cold as hell because it was Christmas, mm-hmm. and uh, I mean cold as hell for California. Yeah, I don't want to hear from the East Coasters. Of it's course, sixty-one. Of course, it's colder where you were, but it was sixty for us. Yeah. You know, it's pretty bad. No, but uh, anyway, yeah. So the only place to get a hot bread bowl was that one place, and the hour it was like an hour wait. It was like yeah, yeah it's going to be an hour. It's like. Oh, Come on. So anyway, uh, but other than that, we waited for nothing. It was pretty incredible. And then when you left, we got, uh, they gave us each like an ornament. I still have that. Oh, like yeah, a, I have my ornament too. I got it. I think they had ones left over because yeah. I went to something they different. Were, they were giving those away and forever. And they still are giving out the same annual pass holder ornaments for yeah. the tree. Yeah, I think they made a lot of them. But anyway, it was but it was, it was cool. They really yeah. made you feel special. Um, now there was one that we went to. What was the one that we went to? We went to one that was limited yeah. to just. I think it was Adventureland and Frontierland. I think it was just yeah, that wing of the park. Yeah. Because I remember, like, Tomorrowland wasn't open and, and Fantasyland and stuff. Yeah. But uh, but we had like Indiana Jones, Pirates, like yeah. all that stuff. And I remember I was the one invited. I remember you can bring somebody else. You can bring guests. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. And uh, I never got invites to this stuff. Really? It yeah. would always be like I was the plus one of somebody yeah, else. Yeah, you can always add, add. They have to be an annual. Because pass I holder, think I think but, my renewal. I think my renewal point. Because that's when they would again. Yeah. That's when they base the event on. I think it's right at the beginning of the year, and I feel, I feel like it was in like a dead zone where, where I wouldn't get like, invited. I didn't to get stuff. caught into yeah. any of them. But anyway, yeah. you were I remember saying. I added you to my that, to my invite, yeah. and uh, we went. And yeah, it was empty. It was it was just one section of the park, but it was pretty fine. Like, yeah, there was not that many. Yeah, people it wasn't there. every ride, obviously, but still, um, 
It was a lot of fun. They gave you, I, they gave you like a print. Remember, it was for that. Yeah, album. Ma- I just saw it. Yeah, yeah, when when I got into my car accident recently, I had oh. to clean out my car, <laughs> yeah. and the map was, was all there. there. I was like, whoa. Yeah, they gave out a print that was the cover of the the most recent like compilation album they were putting out. Yeah, of yeah. The Disneyland music. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, the theme of that night wasn't there like a bluegrass theme? It was kind of like so. old old timey like old new orleans kind that of thing that wasn't theme, when they right? did the mark twain with the band on it was that a different was that that event i don't remember if they were the same night or different nights i can't remember i think I it know. might have been that night yeah it wasn't one of the 24 hour things it was just but we did see yeah. a band on the on the mark twain they had a jazz band yeah which that that is such a treat like yeah. when they when they have that like on the mark twain yeah. boat there's a small little stage in on the Mark Twain, and basically yeah. every once in a while. And you really do play. appreciate jazz, like what, like when you get. Here's the thing. Nowadays, you have so much media thrown at you all the time. Mm-hmm. You have, you know, no matter where you go, it's yeah. like, uh, you know, you have Spotify, where at any moment you can click something and it plays a different, that you know, whatever. Yeah. Or YouTube, you have you have a million different artists tumbling out of a box. Yeah. But. There's something about being confined on a boat with mm. a with a jazz band yeah. <laughs> that makes you appreciate jazz because yeah. you can't go like oh oh that's cool well let's go over here and ride this you, mm. oh let's let's uh, yeah let me get on my phone you know whatever when you're confined on a boat with them it's like you notice everything yeah and that's that's what I kind of appreciate about going to a physical place like Disneyland is you notice stuff like that like like when they had the the choir doing old songs about the United States. Before Lincoln? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're confined with that. And so normally maybe you wouldn't go out of your way to see that or yeah. you wouldn't pay attention to it. But it kind of adds you're confined to the with ex- it, whole experience. When you're confined with it, it's a, it exposes you to it and you absorb it, you know? Yeah. And I, I think that's a... They never did it again. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. They, they did those... those Because those are those people are from Florida. Yeah, the Voices of Liberty. For, yeah. for a limited, was that during the limited run, limited yes. engagement thing? Yeah. yeah, that was cool. But anyway, yeah. going back to the jazz band playing on there, you really totally see it's like you know it's like that that scene in La La Land where Ryan Gosling is like, see, listen to the trumpet now. That guy's taking over. Like they don't yeah. know what they're gonna do, so they're gonna try. Like it, it, I mean, yeah, it totally is like that where they're playing and like the dude on the trumpet just shreds <laughs> where he's just yeah. and you it's like oh my oh no what are they how are they gonna like respond to this yeah can't can't beat that when you're con- so if you could ever be trapped on a boat with a jazz band do it. Make it happen. Yeah. Do you remember how we exited that event? Yeah. It wasn't through the main park. Yeah, they anything. closed the main that entrance. That was closed. Like yeah. Main Street was closed, everything. Yeah. We went through Indiana Jones. We exited through Indiana Jones. Not yeah, the they, ride. They opened like a fire exit. There's this like big door yeah. along the line that we, they went, okay, yeah. and we go through there, and it goes through all backstage. The Omni yeah. Mover was back there. The, the uh, what was that called? The It's the double decker bus that goes around. Omnibus. Omnibus. Yeah. That's it. And, uh, that was back there, and yeah, we just we yeah. exited right out to where the trams are through a bunch of big backstage areas. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. Hold on one second. Pause for just a second. You trying to guess the music? Yeah. Sorry, everyone at home, take a moment. Sound familiar? I think this is legit, like, old adventure land. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. This is, like, legit old adventure land music. Really? Or... I wouldn't see why they wouldn't use it. Or it's Jungle Book background music. One way or another, but I do have this on an old... Adve- like, they, there's like an old album of, of some of the music from Adventureland that someone put together. Really? That that's on there. Yeah, so there it is. Cool. Sorry, I, I have no, an ear no, for no, little... No, when funny. I hear little musical yeah. pieces. Anyway. They have this in the archives, so I'm sure they like... They're like, oh yeah, let's just, they just pull from a bunch of different I also, things. I also think that plays when you're in the Adventureland Tower at uh, Disneyland Hotel. Oh, okay. You hear that there. Yeah. So pretty cool. Anyway. So that was... Uh, anything else with that event? That after hours? The, um, the, the event we went to the exited out of Indiana Jones and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, we exited. Yeah, the Indiana Jones. Trying to Jones think, if there was anything like I, st- I took so many, I took so many pictures when we were backstage. Yeah, me too. I was like, could you, could you, could you? Yeah. oh, you don't normally see that. Could you? Anytime we're like, do you remember? This has nothing to do with that, but do you remember when uh, we got stuck on Indiana Jones? Not Indiana, it's Pirates. No, Bleh. Haunted Mansion. Um, they went, hey, it broke down. Uh, you can wait right here if you want. We weren't on the ride yet. We were just yeah, about to get on the ride. Yeah. You can wait right here if you want. Or you can exit out of this door right here. And I'm like, and we're like, I've never been through that door. 
Yeah. Okay. Like. Yeah, it's like okay, we don't get to go on the ride, but we're gonna get, we're gonna yeah. go through some like come back later I'll weird later hallway again. we've yeah. never been and, through. Yeah, we went through some weird back hallway. Yeah. That exited into a graveyard. Into the t- the it, the crypt like. Yeah, the crypt the, area. That's in that's uh, when you're yeah. in line for the ride. There's a whole like. There's a bunch of tombs. We yep. came out of the tombs. We came out of there. And you then, always wonder what's in there. Yep. We were in there. And then uh, and we left. And I was like, well, that was worth it. We didn't yeah. even ride the ride. So yeah, but for, for like, like geeks like us yeah. about that stuff, it yeah. was awesome. We were dead for so a day. Any, anytime you see something like you get to go someplace you're not you yeah. normally go. It's totally. Prefer that, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah. But those events were really cool for just getting kind of a different look at stuff. Yeah. Um, now, and, to, and to have a cleared out park too, like yeah, yeah. yeah. And now they do some. We, we, they do some after. You know, they don't really do the annual pass events like they did. No, because honestly, they have a billion annual pass holders now, so they don't need to impress them. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, you're coming anyway. You, wanna, yep. you know, whatever. So it's kind of a shame, but. I know. Um, I miss those. Hopefully they'll do something, they'll, something like that or something. Yeah, but they've had some after hours events that were like paid events that anyone could go to. You just buy a ticket. Yeah. But they haven't seemed that appealing to me. They did yeah. a they did a vintage night, they did a Star Wars night, and now they're doing a nineties night. But yep. they're all just kinda like photo ops and stuff. Yeah, I like, take I'm a picture with a... Baloo from Tailspin, you know. We did go that was an annual pass holder event. Remember when we went to the Starcade? And it was only for annual pass holders. Yeah. And I forgot it was it wasn't after hours, it wasn't anything. It was just like almost like a lounge you just could Just for use. annual pass holders. Yeah. Just for annual pass holders. I remember holders. that. Yeah. I totally forgot about it until just now. And they had like a couple arcade machines yeah. and and they, that again that was an area that they don't open up to anybody anymore. Yeah, so. they let us go in the old eighties arcade yeah. back there. That was pretty dope. Yeah. That was really cool actually. Yeah, I and they had about they that. had like a whole like board of history about like photos of what was there. Mm-hmm. That was really cool. I dug that. Yeah. And the machines, the token machines were still working. Yeah, and they pumped so out. So you could go get the, old Starcade tokens. Yeah, they said Starcade on them. That was dope. Yeah. Um, I got distracted because people have food here and it's looking pretty good. Yeah, they have a bunch of new food items here. But. Yeah. I'll be going in on that in just yeah. a minute. Anyway, uh, so those events were really cool. Now, one of the big things they would do at, uh, uh, at Disneyland is... For, more for the public mm-hmm. was the legendary 24 hour days yes they would have a day they would every couple of years or whatever they would the leap first, year or? the first one was the leap year one oh, wasn't okay. it that yeah. was like the very start of the whole thing was um, there was an extra day they called the it ex- one they yeah. called it one more Disney day yeah and it was it was the leap year that I forgot what year it was was it 2014 I mean, what, what I don't year remember. was the leap year that like where we had a February what? That's a good 29th. question. I don't know. I just found the button for it in my room. Yeah. I was cleaning stuff out and I found it, but I don't remember. I don't remember either. But yeah, that was the very first one. Yeah. And did we go to that one? The first, the very first one. I don't think. I don't think we went to the first one. No, we we always played this like because it was a of, catastrophe. Yeah, we always played this game of scoping it out online until like midnight and then calling it whether to go or not yeah basically like here hey here's, is it a nightmare is it not here's our philosophy with yeah. this they when they went when they announced these 24 hour disneyland days people would I, I saw so many people go nuts like oh my gosh i'm gonna do the full 24 hours why and it was like some kind of badge of honor but yeah. the thing is is that's miserable yeah you are so tired by the night to 6 a.m so if you start at 6 a.m by the time you get to the hours that count like that are fun night yeah 1 a.m 3 a.m yeah you're so tired that you don't yeah. like it anymore so what why waste it like, so you would go to the park you would go to the park and 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 around midnight 1 a.m it would just be people like yeah just falling it's like falling asleep on the ground and stuff yeah and it was just miserable now, so what we would do is we'd have a normal ass day. Yeah, fully a normal. And then we would wait and check social media around like 11, 12 at yeah. night. And if people were tweeting about, whoa, it's so dead here, yeah. then we would go. Yeah. Anytime they would do the 24 hour day, that's how we would treat mm-hmm. it. And that worked out great for us. Yeah. We didn't go to the first one because the first one, I think, was a mess. It was a total mess. They had yeah. no, like, I don't think they staffed it enough. I don't know what. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah, we did not go because it was a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, it wasn't staffed well enough yeah. or something like that. The second, oh no, it was so like shoulder to shoulder packed. Yeah. Whole bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. The next year it worked out because 
everyone heard what a nightmare it was yeah. and didn't go. Everybody's like, no, I'm not going to that. It's it's crazy. So nobody went, yeah. and it was so awesome. Yeah, like, so we went around 11 or 12. Yeah, we got there, like, at 1. And it was, what a nice night. Yeah. No one was there, and those who were there were falling asleep, mm-hmm. like we said. We were fully rested. We It was, like, 1 or 2 in the morning. We yeah. were just in the middle of the park it in ruled. the middle of the night. It was great. Yeah, we went on, and we, I mean, we went on Peter Pan, which yeah. is always crowded, you yeah. know, and there was no barely anyone on that. Yep. So you know it's going to be good when that happens. Uh, and anyone that was in line was falling asleep. Everything. You know, it was just stupid. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, we went on everything. We went on Casey Jones. Casey. Yep. Casey he, Jr. Casey Jr. Yeah. Oh, I always the, mix up Casey Jones and uh, Casey that Jr. That was the uh, dreaded monkey cage. That thing. was bad because the person that was in the cage with us was uh, drunk. Yeah. And. Uh, and he's just like, hey, uh, do you guys mind if he's I, like, hey, we're all, all the monkey cages? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you guys are cool with the monkey. monkey impressions, right? And we all just looked at him like, no. Which didn't matter because yeah. every time we the, we were in this monkey cage, every time it yeah. went by people, he would go, ah, 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 yeah, and then look around like we were supposed to laugh, and we were just like, get me out of here. Don't. This isn't funny. Yeah. Anyway, that sucked. But on the subject of inebriation, mm. that happened. We went on pirates. wasn't yes. much wasn't wasn't much of a line in pirates. No, someone there. All of a sudden, you get a big cloud yeah. goes over us. Somebody was smoking that spinach. And it's we may have to censor this. Yeah, it was marijuana. I know. Now, if you YouTube, if you want us to bleep that, I think they were trying to become high. Now, if I have to bleep the word high, let me know. Yeah. YouTube terms of service, let me know. But anyway, it was that. And we were like, whoa, okay. Yeah. Not not exactly allowed in Disneyland. Okay, whoa. And then the guy in front of us, the guy with a backpack on, was like, <laughs> was that you guys? And we were like, no, that was that guy up there, not us. Yeah. Oh, and he was like, oh, okay. All right, because I'm security, and I'm just, okay, we have a code uh, 7 up here. <laughs> it was, like, undercover yeah. security. Yeah, he was fully dressed like a normal, like... Uh, I'd never encountered that yep. before. He didn't look like security whatsoever. No, it was just a homeboy in a backpack and a hat. And yep. he was just like, <laughs> we got a code 420 in front of us. Uh, go, go, code <laughs> I'm green. Sure, I'm come sure down. that's the code they use. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Some number. Yeah. But, uh... Anyway, but it was it was cool. Yeah. Uh... Uh, what was I going to say? But anyway, uh, I, that cracked me up. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so we did that. Um, I think we did it again the next year, right? Yes, I think so. Um, oh, oh, oh. We've so wait, that first one that we went to, yeah. that had, um, uh, we ended the night on, well, at 6 a.m. Yes. We ended at 6 a.m. on Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. If you remember. Yeah. And I remember we and a bunch of other people came onto it right as it hit 6 a.m. And I remember the cast member there. Now, when you're a cast member, you know, when you're staff at Disneyland, you got to be on your best behavior, always smiling. Yeah. Good moods all around. When we walked into that ride, she I remember specifically the woman running the ride went, Jesus Christ. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. We all went into the thing, and she got a call that she, like, had to keep running it or something, yeah. and she went, Jesus yeah. Christ. It was like, yeah. good to see you, too. Yeah. Yeah, happiest place on it. Earth. Yeah. It's probably been there all day. Yeah. Yeah. So, that happened there. Now, we went to the Disneyland 24-hour thing the next year. Mm-hmm. We did the same thing. Again, scoped it out, waited. We got there about 1 a.m. Yep. And went till 6. And... Uh, that one we ended the night on Indiana Jones. Yes. And that was when, and I have a video of this on my personal YouTube channel. Yeah. On this channel, you're watching this. Uh, that was when it broke down, and that's the first. That's the only time for me personally. I've I've been on Indiana Jones a lot when yeah. it broke down, but I've never been walked off. I've never been walked out. I've been broken down one time, and that was during Game Days 2013. Yeah, yeah. And but we didn't. They started it back up, and they after like yeah. a half hour, totally. and they drove it out. But. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, we were stuck on there for a while. We were going up the ramp into the beginning of the ride where the idol is right above you. Yeah. And you're in this long corridor, and then it was like... Duh, 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 duh. Stuck. It was like, oh, cool. Uh, uh, and we were there forever. Mm-hmm. And they were like, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a walk-off. We'll uh, please stay seated. We're going to have someone 
you know, come and help you. Yeah. And sure enough, people came and like they brought like a little step ladder, right? And like we, they had to like get yeah, us they had out to of the get right. Everybody off the right. And we actually walked down that that lift hill. The, yeah. And it was it was cool. It was cool. We got yeah. to walk around in we the got ride. To walk I mean, out of the ride through the the first beginning of it. Can't hate the on that. Yeah. yeah, that was really cool. I was obviously looking around at everything. And yeah. Thinking, oh, this is where the, the, yeah. the shifting rooms were. I, and I stuff. was looking over the edge of the, like, rocks, yeah. and you could see, like, tools. Like, somebody left a drill. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. So that was cool. Of course, the entire time we were on there, this dude that was stuck on there, too, kept trying to make conversation with us. And I was, like, filming the video. You could uh, yeah. see it in the video. Oh, I forgot about I'm not going to say too much, yeah. but it was just like, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, uh, but... Um, yeah, but anyway, that was the only time I've ever been walked off on that ride. But that was cool, getting a, like... So, I mean, the park was supposed to... Everyone was supposed to be out at 6 a.m. Yeah, I forgot that. But that we went on that right at 6. Right like, at 6. Yeah. So, it broke down, and we didn't get out until, like, 7 yeah. something. Now, what was funny is the park... I think the park was going to open again at, what, 8? I think so, yeah. 8 a.m. or 10? I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. It might have been 10. But... It was so cool because when he finally got out of the ride, it was broad daylight, mm. but the park was not open. Yeah. And we were the only civilians in there. So we're walking around the park in broad daylight when it's not open. Yeah. I, I might never experience that again. Like, that was really cool. And, that was a cool experience. There were, like, dudes, like, there were, like, trucks out. They were, like, hosing down Main Street, and they were all looking at us like, uh... Oh, you're still here? Why are these people still here? We broke down. And it's Sorry, like, yeah, we were stuck in yeah. a temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, and but the funny, this really has nothing cool. to do with the, really the actual event, but the hotel situation's weird for these days because we always talk about like, oh, it's staying up all night and then driving back kind of sucks. Yeah. But you can't really get a hotel because you, you, you're there the whole night. Yeah. So checkout is like 11. So yeah. you, you would have, you if you were, you were at Disneyland all night and you, you get one for that night, then once you get back to the hotel, you have to check out in like two hours. Yeah, right? it doesn't so really work. it never work. works. So unless you're staying a few days. Yeah, unless you have it. a, it's just part of your your whole vacation. Yeah, there wasn't like a great plan for yeah. that. But anyway, uh, so that was really cool. Like that was, uh, uh, to get out like at that hour was really cool. That was yeah. really like special. And, and again, the whole park, it was all staff members looking at us like, yeah, are they supposed to be here? seen all this but um they acted like we had snuck into the park or yeah. something anyway so they did the 24-hour day one more time a year later and we did not go <laughs> no, because we were checking we were checking online it was a total mess it was like they bailed it was like they realized Sorry, can I take your trash? uh sure yeah yeah, yeah. thank, thank, thank you, very you very much, much. Thank you. um it was like they... I thought she was going to ask if she could smoke here. <laughs> um, it was like they realized on the way to doing it that it kind of wasn't worth it. Mm. And you could see them starting to, like, retreat on the idea a little bit. Yeah. And so uh, it was also... It was the 60th anniversary. So it was 2016. Yep. And they debuted... Everything. Every new show, yeah, every new thing, like all that night. parades, everything that night. So it was a total mess. But then after midnight, all the shows had ended, and it was clearing out. But they closed the gates. Yeah. They didn't let people back in. So people were stuck outside. Yeah, a bunch of people like, showed up wanting to go to the park. Yeah. Like, oh, it's late. I'm going to go. And they were all locked out. They couldn't they were, go. Like, I think they hit capacity at one point, And then they went bound to, no, like... They just never it, opened back and up. And they just never opened back up. Yeah. Because people were saying, like, it's fine in here. Yeah. Like, what, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, we were looking at... There yeah. were, like, webcams. Yeah. And, and, and people on social media, they were saying, like, I don't know why they're not letting people in. It's dead in here. Yeah. There's no one in here. Which is lucky for the people that actually, like, were in the yeah, gates when they closed yeah. them. Yeah. Because, yeah, that sucked. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to go that year. And they, yeah. and they closed and, it down. Like I said, it was like they bailed on the idea halfway through. And they never did it again. Yeah. They did not do the 24-hour day again. I don't no. think, why, yeah, why is it worth it to them? I wish they would do uh, one more or something. But then it would be a madhouse. Just, uh, I don't know, it was so it, fun. Well, it is fun it was so having fun. an event like that. Being on the Mark Twain at 3 or 4 in the morning is just. Yeah, like, that was it, dope. There's nothing like that. Yeah. It, I will say one thing I forgot to mention. What? One thing I forgot to mention. The 24-hour days were kind of like, they would, ha- they were kind of like parties. Mm-hmm. So they would have, like, a DJ on Main Street, like, yeah. wah, 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 you know, like, they would do the whole thing. Yeah. It would be a lot more unusual. Mm-hmm. 
that was the only time you would hear like contemporary music on Main Street. In the part, yeah. So normally when you go on Main Street here, it's all old timey. Da 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 da. da. But uh, during that, it would be like Kesha. Yeah. You'd be, you'd. Get, I remember walking onto Main Street, going through the gates, getting on Main Street, and it was like, maybe I need some rehab. Maybe I need some sleep. And it's like, what are we doing? Yeah. Like, what is, is a this? different world? But it was fun, kind of seeing that. Yeah. I mean, you never hear Fallout Boy at. And same thing. It was like Mr. New Orleans Square had stuff like that too. Yeah. It was like party music. It was playing like yeah. party rock is in the house yep. tonight. A <laughs> New Orleans Square. Oh man, it was. Yeah. Stupid. Anyway, well, uh, do that twenty-four hour day, but the limited annual pass holders. Like, what's that? Mix them both together. Make it a yeah, just an merge annual, them exactly. Right? Make it an annual pass holder only. Um, make it easier. Yeah, I don't know why they don't do. They, I mean, well, I guess I know why they don't. Need, they don't really yeah. need to. No, the parks are so they're about to open busy. the biggest thing. And, yeah, ever, so they got like, the Star Wars thing that's yeah. coming is like the biggest thing in entertainment that's about to drop. Yeah. So they don't, what do they need to like try to appeal to you for? Like yeah. you're in or you out, you know? Yeah. I guess that's kind of a a sad thing, I guess, to a, to a degree that they don't need to do that. But yeah. uh, we'll see, you know. But anyway, everything's kind of like cyclical with that stuff. So we'll see uh, what happens um, if they do that kind of thing again. If people get fed up this year and maybe, you know, they got to win them back. Yeah. But uh, hopefully, hopefully they, they, I know they need to do something to like bring yeah. in more people. Did you ever go to, uh, did you ever go to the, um, what was it called? The, uh, well, I'm, I don't know why I'm asking you if you went to it. I know you didn't go to this. What? They did do a special thing a few times, and I never, we never went for the Jungle Cruise. They did a yeah, breakfast right, thing. I remember Right here. That. We're on, the, that's where we are, yeah. by the way, in case you didn't know. We're on the banks of the Jungle Cruise. They did a breakfast. It was like a, I want to say it was like a $300 breakfast. And it was uh, where you would eat on the banks. Yeah, it'd be in the ride, like among like where the animals are and stuff. They'd set up tables. And And they'd let you walk around there and stuff like that. Uh, That you, I think you would meet at the Grand Californian at like five in the morning and then you walk you through the park while it was closed. Yeah. You know, in retrospect, yeah, three hundred's a lot, but I kind of feel like um, maybe, else you gonna get maybe I should have done like, that. If you yeah. get to go on the banks and stuff like that, right? It's over now. Hopefully, they do something like that again. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, what did you think? I mean, was that appealing I, to you? Or? I didn't. It wasn't appealing at all until I saw the photos. Yeah. Once I saw the that's, photos, that's kind of where I'm coming where from. Everybody was just having a nice breakfast in this yeah. in, inside the ride. Yeah. I regretted it. Yeah, I, I kind of felt that way too. I was just like, damn, yeah. that did look cool. However, my, my thing though is I didn't want to eat breakfast with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, you share a table. Because I couldn't like... really get anyone else interested in it. I mean, again, you, yeah. you were like, meh. Yeah. And I didn't know how I felt either. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, I don't want to eat with a bunch of randos, you know, so yeah. you know, whatever. I, so I just didn't do it. But yeah, in retrospect, I'm like, kind of wish. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have. Who knows, who knows if they will do that, ever do that again? Um. Yeah, are they? They're not still offering that, right? No, I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. Yeah. Anyway, uh, are there any other events and stuff that you've gone to? A couple, I think maybe a couple um, of like kind of not offsite events, but like there was that one at Tater Sam's that gave you like the oh, mug and stuff. Yeah. Was that? Was that? That was an annual pass holder. That no, was just like a paid, it was a paid event. event. Yeah. yeah. Uh, They've done a couple of those, but I think you've only gone to that one. Yeah, they they did a they did an event at Trader Sam's, yeah. the the tiki bar that's over here. Which if you never if you ever go to Disneyland, it's open late after the park closes. Yeah. And uh, Trader Sam's is an awesome bar. Like uh, I don't even like going to bars, but it's mm-hmm. cool just hanging out there. Like go there if you get a chance. It's not inside the park, so you can just go even if you don't yeah, have a ticket. Open to everybody. Anyway, they had a paid ticket event. Where you went and then, like, Imagineers would just, like, talk about stuff to do with Trader Sam's and whatever else. Mm -hmm. And they would give you a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So I was like, well, damn. It sounds like you're getting your money's worth. I'll I'll buy a ticket. Yeah. I want to say it was a couple hundred bucks. Give or take. Maybe less. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But I did it. And it was, uh, we went there and it was like... They, there was free food, so that was cool. And I'm like, all right, what, so what's what's going on next, you know? And then it was like, uh, where, okay, uh, 
what's going on? We've just been standing around here with like hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. Like what's happening here? And sure enough, after a while, like a dude with a microphone just showed up in the corner like, yeah, hey, what's up? Anyway, uh, here's some artwork here. Oh, the, the lighting isn't on. Oh, well, you probably can't see it. Well, use the, use the light on your yeah. phone. Uh, it's kind of some concept artwork. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Um, oh, this guy's going to play some Hawaiian songs for you. Like a dude with a ukulele. Yeah. It was the most poorly organized event. It was like, w w what is happening? Yeah. They didn't even let us go inside Trader Sam's. This was all like outside <laughs> of it. It was like they didn't even let us go in. Admission to the Trader Sam's. Yeah, it was like, can I can I go in and sit down? No. Trader Sam's for you. <laughs> no. Like, and then uh, they were like, come get your bag of stuff. Okay. So it was a mug. It was a zombie head mug, which yeah. I, I hate zombies, so I yeah. didn't care. It was like meant to. Be, it was a tiki mug, but it was a zombie. Yeah. I want a tiki, not a zombie. Yeah. And then there was an art print inside that I think was the ugliest you art show print. Me? Oh, it was bad. I forgot what I it gotta was. find an image of it. I think I'll have I have one. Maybe I'll You took a photo of it definitely. It is not good. You know what? Uh, you no, have I'll have to, I'll have to get it later. Maybe I'll put it on here yeah. if I remember. Uh, and uh, it was uh, hands down the worst art I've ever seen. Yeah. Of like it was Trader Sam, the the dude, mm -hmm. going like like the head, the shrunken head guy, and and they photoshopped the zombie head mug into his hand, like it wasn't even artwork, like it was photoshopped into his hand. It was awful. And then it said Mahalloween, 2014 or whatever the year was, and it was stencil font, like it was the army, like it was like some <laughs> military thing. Like what the hell were they thinking? Oh. Um. So anyway, yeah, it was awful, absolutely awful. Uh. But uh. Anyway, so it was not worth the money, and so I actually, I never do this, but I sent a letter to Disney about yeah, it. I was like, feedback. hey, just so you know, like, I'm not I'm not trying to be a complainer, but I'm letting you know in case you do this event again in the yeah. future, this is the issue. This is what I went through, mm -hmm. and it like, no one knew what was going on, and I got no value out of this whatsoever. So yeah. I sent them a thing, and to Disney's credit, yep. they contacted me back. And they said, hey, it sounds like you got hosed. <laughs> and they said, look, if you want a refund, we could go down that route. We can try. We can talk. We can move, work this up, you know, yeah. move this up to manage, you know, whoever. Or they said, do you go to the parks a lot? And I was like, yeah. And yeah, they were like, time. look, they were like, look, I'll send you gift cards right now if that'll make you happy. And I was like. I wasn't expecting anything, so I'll definitely take gift cards if that's cool. And they were like, yeah, we want you guys. We don't want you to feel like you got, you know, ripped no. off. So, yeah. And so, so they sent me a bunch of gift cards. Cool. Uh, so that was really cool, I thought. And the icing on the cake, that mug that oh, I yeah. got. It was hard to, like. There is a whole community around those tiki mugs. And the Trader Sam's one, like, they sell out. Like, they go for a ton on eBay yeah. and stuff. The one that I got apparently is like the rarest they ever did. Really? They, they, gave, they gave it to like the 80 people that went to that event yeah, and, and that was it. it. Yeah. So I did get a valuable book. Now I used it. So that was the only thing I did. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I was just like, yeah, well, I might as well get some use out of yeah. this crappy thing. And now people are telling me like, oh, dude, that thing's worth a fortune on eBay. It's like, uh, I drooled on it. Jeez. But maybe if you wash it, you don't know. Yeah. So no, listen. No one's gotta know. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much the long and short of that event. Is there anything else you can? Did we talk about when we, uh, you, Brian, and I went to the Cars event? Cars no, event. no, no, no. We, I didn't know if we talked about that in another thing, but we went to a uh, basically a preview, or like it was like a week or two before. Yeah. That so they did this thing. They did this thing. It was where, paid. Yes, but it, this this is kind of funny because it wasn't like the most researched thing. Uh, but when Cars Land was going to open, that was another thing. Yeah. It was like, whoa, this is going to be so expansive and crazy and whatever. Oh, my God, it's going to be so packed. Mm -hmm. Good luck getting in here. Well, they did an early event that was like a charity dinner. Yeah. Where if you, it was like 400 bucks. Yeah, it was like, I don't know where they did the dinner, but. It was like, in Carthay Circle, which oh, had, which had never been opened. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like, that was like a brand new restaurant Buena, for Buena Vista Street was opening along with Cars Land, yeah. the, the brand new entrance to California Adventure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, they were opening all that at the same time. Um, 
if you did this four hundred and thirty dollar whatever mm -hmm. uh, charity dinner, you could eat. It was like a whole banquet. Yeah. With like they they said they were gonna have like special guest speakers and yeah. stuff like that, which I remember at the time we were thinking like, dude, Obama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who, I think it ended up being an Imagineer. I don't know. I think so. But they did this whole banquet, and um, at the at the at the yeah they did Carthay this whole event, yeah Carthay Circle. And if you went, you could go to Cars Land before anyone was in there. Mm -hmm. Like you it, got first it's access. Not open to anybody yet. Well, if you researched on the website, they were like, it, it, it all went to. I think it went to charity. Yeah, all of it went to charity. Well, if you kept looking on the website, it was like, if you read the fine print, it was like, oh, but um, if you don't want to do the dinner, you could just go to Cars Land uh, for, like, for 70 bucks. Yeah, it was like 70 bucks. But you don't get the dinner. And it's like, like uh, yeah, you know what? I'll get Jack in the Box tacos that night. I don't care. Yeah. I'll pay the 70 bucks and go to Cars Land before it opens. And I remember all these people were still, I said that, and I had all these people still kind of jumping on me about it. Like... Dude, so you're, many people are gonna do this. Like, it's, it's waiting a line. You're Ugh. paying. You're paying extra. You're already paying for your annual pass. Now you're gonna pay another seventy bucks, and it's gonna be yeah. just as crowded. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. No, not we at all. We went. We went, and I, again, I think that went to charity. Mm -hmm. Seventy bucks. That's a good cause. And it it was like a a fiftieth of the amount of people that normally yeah. go there. You're, they gave you a wristband, and basically yeah. that wristband let you into that section of the park. Yeah. Do you remember us going on to the? Um, the for we just said it. Yeah. Main Street, the DCA Main Street. Like yeah. uh, uh, walking through that door. Uh, it, it, we walked yeah. up and it was just a wooden door like wall. Yeah, they let us through like and a staff. It's like a door basically yeah. you can just open up and then it goes out onto the brand new like entrance yeah. to DCA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we walked in and it was like suddenly it was quiet. Yeah. Like like they, they let us into the uh, the the back like canyon area of mm -hmm. Cars Land, and it was like quiet, like whoa! It was like we were entering another world because yeah. we hadn't been to walk through any of that. Yeah. So we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, and then at the end of the road, you get to Cars Land. Still to this day, if you've never been to Cars Land, that's the way I recommend entering. Yeah, the back the, way, the, the main through all the rock work. The main entrance over on the other side is really loud, and there's billboards, Cars Land, and there's yeah. loud stuff going on. Don't go that way. Go through yeah. the back. Because then you go, you have this quiet little journey through the canyon, yep. and then you arrive at Cars Land, and it's so it's really cool. cool. Man, yeah. it's awesome. They did such a good job. But yeah, that place was empty. The lines were great. Everything. It was, you could it go was like twenty minutes for um, Cars Land, the, the Radiator, Radiator Springs, Springs Racer, the main and ride. It, it now it's like good luck if it's anything under an hour. Like still to this day, yeah. and that was like seven years ago. Yep. And it still hasn't gotten any better. Yeah. I mean, no, it has gotten better since the when it yeah. opened. But, but it's still, still rarely under an hour, and yeah. we went on it over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so don't rule out those after-hours events sometimes. No. I really hope that they do one for Star Wars Land. Yeah. They did one for Pixar Pier. I have yeah. no idea why. It was $300. Yeah. And it was, there was no, like, new rides. No, it Pixar was Pier wasn't. It was theming Yeah, and yeah, there really like, wasn't much to write home about. Yeah. But Star Wars will be. Yeah. So if they do some kind of after-hours event for that, ooh, yeah, got to find a way in. Yep, got it. And I'm not paying, so nope. how am I getting in? Everyone yeah. at home? Disney needs to do it, $10. How do we That's get it. in? There's always, there's always that one, there's always that one dude. There's always that one dude who uh, on YouTube that sneaks into the parks and stuff. Yeah. And like does parkour onto the rides. Yo, dude, give us the tips. There's gotta be a way. There's got, I, and listen, I'm not climbing Wait. anything. I'm not doing parkour. So how do you accommodate me? Let me know. Wait, I hope, wait you till better have a plan. Go in front entrance to the to the area. You better have a plan because I'm coming. One way or another. Let me know. Anyway, I hope that ride's good. What the Star Wars one? What if it sucks? I, it could. Dude, Who knows? Some of the stuff I read about it was like, it it if what I've heard is true, it yeah. incorporates so many of the best things of uh, multi many rides. Okay. I'd never read anything of the stuff that I read. I didn't want to know everything, mm -hmm. but some of the things that I've heard were yeah, like. Yeah, I try to stay completely. Off, I, I I treat it like a movie and spoilers, so I always yeah. just like I don't want to see anything before I go. The on that only ride. the only reason that I read some of it ahead of time is because I'm so sensitive to rides like having drops yeah. and stuff. 
that I'll read if it's like I, sometimes I have to read so it's like yeah. okay I want to know what I'm in for you know what I mean yeah but if it's a ride where I know it's not going to be a problem like like when the when the Little Mermaid ride opened I don't need I know that's not going to be a thrill ride no so I didn't you know yeah. know anything going in you know but anyway anyway but is there anything else I, I mean, all I can think of are the events we've gone to hopefully yeah. they do more yeah, uh, if they do, if they do the Star them. Wars one, then yeah. we're in business. Yep. So how are we getting in? Let us know. Money. No, <laughs> can't be money. <laughs> or a... physical skill. Not going to happen. Anyway. Yeah. I think that's it for another I can't, yeah, I can't creepy old crypt. Yeah, we'll that do, was fun. Uh, we still are like behind an episode, kind yeah. of. So we got to catch up. We might, have, we might have a special one coming up. Yeah. We might have a special treat to come so nice. stay tuned and if there's anything in particular you want to see us talk about and discuss whatever you know leave a comment in, leave a comment in, in the, the doobly do I knew you were going to do the doobly do leave it in the doobly do leave it no, leave an, a comment leave a comment in the do you remember when they moved the info down there and YouTubers were like I'm uh, a link the link is in my pants <laughs> God. do they still say smash that like yes uh. there are people smash that MF like button yeah uh. Anyway, good night. <laughs>